What's up, fragrant family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm giving you my top five niche fragrances for the summertime. Now, these are my top five from my own collection. I wanted to stick with my own collection because these are the ones that I'm more familiar with, and these are the ones that obviously I've spent more time with. Uh, this is also a great reminder for me, hey, you need to pick up some more fresh summertime niche fragrances because I don't have a lot. So I was gonna try and do a top 10 video, but I honestly don't have 10 niche fragrances that I feel are good enough for the summertime. So, you know, I tend to have a lot for like the, you know, fall and winter, but I don't really have a lot for summertime. So this is a good reminder for me, hey, pick up some more fresh niche fragrances. So um, like I said, these are five from my own collection. And uh, you know, I. I just honestly think these are the freshest uh, from my collection and I think they're gonna do you well. So if you want something fresh, if you want something that's gonna keep you smelling good and it's gonna get the compliments, be sure and stick right here to see what the list is. get into this list super excited to bring this to you guys today um, so like I said these are in no particular order uh, they're not gonna be listed like one to five I just I don't do those I if they're on the list then they're in my top five and they're not I don't, I don't really get into the interchangeable like this is number one this is number four this is number three I just don't do that but I do want to say for those of you who are joining for the first time thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in uh, we are now family so thank you guys so much for that for those of you who have been a part of the fragrant family for a while thank you guys so much for returning really excited to get into this guys so at the first spot not necessarily number one spot this one I actually chose over um, one from the House of Creed because I get better performance off of this one and honestly the newer batches I don't trust to get you any kind of performance and I don't trust that they're gonna last on your skin so I wouldn't feel comfortable having you guys hunt down an older batch so coming in at the first spot like I said no particular order this is coming from the house of Parfums Vintage and this was actually my scent of the day and this is Rush of Unicorns now what this is this is a inspired cologne of uh, Millisum Imperial from Crete, which I have right here. This is a 15X01 batch, lasts a good long time, super fresh, super citrusy, melony, and really great for the summertime, but the newer batches, they are complete trash. Like, just throwing it out there, they don't last at all. Like, I'm talking from like 2018 and above, they really don't last more than 30 minutes. So I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. So I decided to go for this one because I get honestly six to seven hours, if not more off of this fragrance. And so for a very fresh, melony, citrusy type of fragrance, that's pretty darn good. And so the performance is really great. The sillage is amazing. I came home on lunch break, uh, from work and my wife said that she could smell me so I mean this stuff really does do um, its magic so at the first spot I'm gonna go with Parfums Vintage uh, Rush of Unicorns now if you like pineapple vintage uh, intense uh, fragrances they also have some other uh, inspired clones recommend checking them out they're you know known for having great performance and great sillage and they last forever all right guys, so coming in at the next spot, like I said, no particular order. I am choosing another fragrance over Creed because I like the, just the way it smells better, to be completely honest. So um, this one is kind of going after the style of Creed Green Irish Tweed, but this comes from the house of Bond number nine, and this is Shea Bond. And I actually prefer this over Green Irish Tweed. That being said, I do have Creed Green Irish Tweed back there. I do like it. This one, it just it has more of a freshness to it. It has more of a light citrusy quality to it. I get more of that lemon verbena in there this also has green apple and it really kind of pops off my skin and it doesn't have that same earthy oak mossy type of tone that green irish tweed has not saying that it's a bad fragrance i just prefer this one over creed green irish tweed and in the dry down you get this really awesome just like tea note that comes out and it just kind of puts you in this relaxing state of mind i just kind of get these beach vibes not necessarily like aquatic oceany type of vibe but i get just kind of like laying out on the hammock while the sun rays are beaming down on you through the uh, palm trees and the cool ocean breeze is just going to go on by and you're in the in the hammock just kind of laying out maxing and relaxing and that's kind of the vibes that i get from this like i said it's not like aquatic oceany it just has that kind of relaxing beach vibe to it so shea bond is definitely on the list 
All right, guys, so coming in at the next spot, I actually am gonna go ahead and go with the Creed. I'm not hating on Creed. I just, you know, they're newer stuff. It just, it doesn't last as long. But on this particular one, even though it is a newer batch, uh, well, what you would probably get is a newer batch, it still does last a little bit, and I think that's gonna get you where you need to go. So this one I'm super excited about because anyone who's been on my channel for a while, y'all know that I've been hunting for a cap for this because this was a tester, but I'm all about saving a buck if I can get what I want. Guys, this is Creed Erolfa. Look at that cap. Man, I'm so excited for this. Shout out to you, Amos, man. Thank you so much for tagging me in that post. Uh, man, the fragrance community is, man, they're just amazing. We always have each other's backs, and I really do appreciate that. So this definitely completed the look. Super, super excited about that. But we're not here for caps. We're here for the smell. So for those of you who might not know, then this is definitely, definitely a summertime must-have, in my opinion. Even though this is an older batch and it does last a good uh, bit longer than the newer batches, the newer batches, they're still going to get you around that five to six hour mark. And then if you have to refresh, that's fine. But I think anything, if you can get past five hours or so, then I think you're doing well. But this opens up, it's a little bit of a mature scent in the uh, opening because it's got rosemary and basil in there, so it kind of gets this mature vibe to it. But as it dries down, it's just this sweet aquatic citrusy um, oceanic just type of blast like I love this stuff guys super amazing for the high heat um, it's got this mint note in there that kind of gives you this this cool refreshing vibe and you got stuff like lemon lime bergamot patchouli and it's just an amazing citrus type of fragrance so uh, man I definitely get beach vibes from this I think of being in Hawaii or just being on the beach maybe playing some beach volleyball maybe surfing maybe just you know kind of going along the beach coast and this stuff is definitely it just has a type of vibe to it. So this definitely had to be on the list. This is Creed Erofa. All right, guys, coming in at the next spot. This is coming from the house of Parfums de Marley, which might throw you off a little bit because when you think of Parfums de Marley, you don't really think of summertime fresh uh, fragrances, but they do have a couple. And unfortunately, this one is not Sedley. It would have been Sedley if I had a full bottle, but even the sample that I have, I sent off to my cousin so that way he could try it. Um, really, really great fragrance. Definitely would have made the video if I'd had it, but I went ahead and I chose Percival. I love Percival, guys. It opens up, it does smell very similar to Mont Blanc Legend and then Abercrombie uh, and Fit Fear. Uh, but this was have like more of a fresher take on it opens up it's got more citruses in there it's, it's a little bit lighter not quite as heavy and thick and spicy as the Mont Blanc Legend or Amber Crombie and Fitch Fierce um, but it does bear resemblance so um, anyways though guys this stuff it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this fragrance for it being so fresh, not like aquatic, but just has this fresh citrusness to it. Um, it just kind of leaves you feeling refreshed. For it being that type of fragrance, it does last a good while. I mean, I get easily nine to 10 hours of use off of this. It does kind of get sweeter in the dry down as it does begin to dry down. Um, you know, it, it just kind of takes the sweet tone to it, but I still love this stuff. I still definitely think that this is summertime approved. And guys, you're gonna get noticed when you wear this this is very mass appealing i think that if you're going to get into niche this would be a great great gateway into it that or galloway from parfums de marley i don't have it i did have it it just it didn't wow me enough to keep it into my collection that's just my own personal preference uh, so i did wind up trading it or selling it one of the two but um those two I definitely think would be uh, great for that or sadly as well. So um, those are my picks for uh, Parfums de Marley. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna figure out what the last one is. All right, guys, so we are down to our last pick, and it might kind of surprise you because I'm going to go with the House of Creed, and you might be thinking it's Aventus because we all know how much I love Aventus, but I'm actually going to go with Creed Aventus Cologne instead. I do love Creed Aventus. I love the OG. Obviously, I have five different bottles, each different batches, so I love me some Creed Aventus, but this one is just a little bit more light, a little bit more crisp, a little bit more fruity. It does open up with a tangerine or orange note um, in here, and so it just has a bit more of a fruity vibe to it and I really do enjoy this stuff I know that uh, John Morrell from John Morrell fragrance reviews he loves this stuff 
man, this stuff is really, really good. It does um, bear a lot of resemblance to the original Creed Aventus, but it does have a bit more of a smoothness to it, not quite as sharp, at least in my opinion, and it doesn't get as smoky or dark as Creed Aventus does, because Creed Aventus, you know, does have that black currant and that birch, and uh, it just kind of takes on a smoky vibe. This one, it really doesn't, at least off of my skin, it just stays pretty linear all the way throughout the fragrance, and it's just fresh, light, crisp, and fruity. Love this stuff, guys. Creed Aventus Cologne. All right, guys, that is my picks uh, niche-wise for summertime. Those are my top five niche from my own collection that I think you guys should definitely try this summer. And I think it's gonna get you in the right mindset. I think it's gonna get you smelling like summer and bring on those beach vibes, bring on those backyard barbecues, bring on just going to the lake, going to the rivers, whatever you guys do, just having fun in the summertime. That's what summertime is all about, or at least it is for me. I live here in Missouri, so don't really live by a beach, but we got rivers, we got, we got lakes, we got ponds, we got fishing, we got all kinds of outdoor stuff to do. And these very has definitely put me in that type of mindset but i'm pretty excited we are going to be in florida uh in july so definitely going to take one of these with me if not a couple others and uh definitely go to the beach haven't been to the beach since i was 16 years old so that's that's been a long time <laughs> i'm almost 30 now so that's yeah that's what 16 years or so like that's that's pretty crazy so um anyways guys thank you guys seriously so much for watching really do appreciate that be sure and give the video a thumbs up comment down below what fragrances that you have that you're definitely looking forward to wearing in the summertime like i said this was a great reminder for me to actually pick up more fresh and light crisp niche fragrances for the summertime because i do love my niches i really do but uh when it comes to fresh aquatic scents honestly for whatever reason i do tend to go for more designer but that's okay so but anyways guys comment down below what you're looking forward to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys next time and remember if you love it wear it